live. From Motown to Dancing with the Stars, the legendary Gladys Knight joins our table as guest hosts. Then, the day's top talkers, the Mary J. Blige fried chicken controversy. Do you think her fast food ad deserved to be pulled? Plus, Chelsea Clinton versus Rush Limbaugh. He called her the White House dog when she was only 13, and now she's speaking out. From American Reunion, Nina Suvari is here. And nutritionist Kerry Glassman shows us how kitchen clutter can be making you gain unwanted weight. Let's start talking. For joining us at the table. Thank you. While Sharon is away. We've been trying to get this here a long time. Yes. So, and also congratulations on making it through last night. Yeah. But they try and trick us. They try and trick us by doing like three in the top, you know, in the in the bottom, the bottom three. Yeah. They throw in a fan favorite, so you're not like, because you're you had no really? chance of going. No, you're a fan no, favorite. You're I don't no think about that. I just say, whew. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> and poor Jack Wagner. Um, but we love him, Jack. We love him. <laughs> he was so amazing. So amazing. So sweet. Well. First off, we want to get right to what's being called the Texas miracle. People from Dallas to Arlington weathered an outbreak of violent, harrowing tornadoes yesterday afternoon, and thankfully, no one died. The take a this oh my goodness. amazing footage of one twister in action. The funnel touched down oh. on a trucking company's parking lot, and these 14,000-pound tractor trailers were no match for the winds. Throughout the area, 800 homes were damaged and several people were injured. Of course, we're sending everyone there our thoughts and our prayers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a fast food ad featuring Mary J. Blige singing about fried chicken has caused much controversy. <laughs> And Wait now, a minute, is she wearing the same jacket I'm wearing? <laughs> Did y'all see that shot? Can we see okay. Mary J again? Yeah, look at the shot. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> a little more cleavage. You got right. Okay, got wear it. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> Well, the, the ad has caused so much controversy, and now it's been pulled. Critics say in the ad, she's feeding a stereotype, and they've even called it buffoonery. If you haven't seen the ad, and maybe probably most of you haven't because it's already been pulled off of the air, she sings a song, uh, I, I, you know, crisp chicken, so, and then it's wrapped in sauce, and there's a tortilla. Yeah. Come on, here we go. <laughs> but uh, it's interesting because it, it, uh, immediately people went to this concept that the ad was racist. And for me, first of all, everybody likes chicken. Chicken is delicious. Let's just get that out of the way. <laughs> we all like chicken. Amen. Except for Sarah, we all like chicken. Oh, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> And, and she would also, like, to me, there's nothing about the sandwich that says that it's, like, an ethnic... I mean, it's... 
a crispy chicken wrap. It's like a 12-year-old skateboarder boy's snack. You know what I mean? It's not. It, it's just so hard because there's been this long-standing stigma with with the black community about certain kind of stereotypical foods yeah. that we've been mocked for eating, like chicken, like watermelon. And it's so frustrating because, and it originated from the South, where people down there made the best with what they had, and they used fat and grease to stretch their dollar, when they, and before they had dollars, to stretch what they had. But we have to reject it, because you should be able to eat what you want, you should be able to do what you want yeah. without the burden of judgment. And I, I was talking with my hairstylist, my hairstylist, my hairstylist is African-American, and we had this conversation right before we started the show, where she said, you know, I won't buy a watermelon. And I said, I will buy two watermelons, and I will pair them through my head. Watermelon is delicious. And that's not, and that's because I'm not gonna let you judge me about what I choose to eat. It's, right, not, you, it's not your choice to, Gladys, to tell me you how find, to live. Do you find the ad offensive? Let me tell you, first of all, Mary did a great job. Sure did. She did a great job. And you know, our society has, has pushed us into an arena where we have to be ticky about everything because there's so many things that happen in society that are not pleasant to us. But let me tell you, don't nobody make fried chicken like we do. That's right. No, that's right. It's our, it's our fried chicken. That's right. That's right. And we should embrace fried chicken because it is synonymous with we were cooking chicken when didn't nobody want to cook chicken. That's what I'm talking about. You know? So let us start embracing those things that are ethnically our very own, you know, right, right. And, and move on to something where they're not treating us right. right you know, right. it's and not about that. You don't that. see other Mary cultures did a good rejecting job. their traditional foods. I mean, every culture That's has right. traditional foods. Someone might make fun of Mexicans because they eat beans or of Asians because they yeah, eat rice. Yeah, but they rice. get well, fat too. traditional food. food. It's delicious food. They you get should, fat oh, they should too. be proud of it. Well, here you are. sing about how much we love fried, fried chicken. chicken. Other than that. I mean, don't nobody want, if they had put Bono on that, somebody like, that chicken don't even sound like it's gonna taste good. <laughs> it's not seasoned. You know, you need somebody that really gonna sing, you know, sing about chicken. Wait, okay, and like also, what's a Jew gonna sing about a knish? <laughs> problem though brothers and sisters why, <laughs> why is it that when things are sold to mainstream individuals uh -huh. you do not have the production value uh -huh. that is had when it's sold to us come on well, come on now they sell they sell breakfast food to white people it is wonderful there's it's no wonderful. ban when it's black people it's banned it's a horn right. it's everything it's and reason. we sing we like whoa cinnamon roll yeah yes. is singing about a, back, a breakfast biscuit. Yes. There's an organ behind, you know which one I'm talking about. Girl. It's an organ behind the one. And she like, when I got up in the morning, hey. praise Jesus, <laughs> I can go to my refrigerator <laughs> and get a breakfast biscuit. <laughs> This is a perfect point because Jay Leno is, it does a Janad too. And he pulls For this up same company. the same company and, and he, he pulls up singing. in his car and he's not singing. Not and he's singing. like, I would like some crispy chicken. And no one goes, Jay, what are you saying about our people? He's just like, crispy chicken is delicious. And then he drives away in his car. But they got, you know, David Beckham is in one. Yeah, they're Selma, Selma Hike. Now, if Selma Hike were dancing and doing all this, then maybe we could say something. But right. I, I just think, no, I want some chicken. Is there anybody cooking any chicken right now? <laughs> Did you see, you remember the other, there's another company, another oh. really famous company that had when a chicken When was singing about chicken? No, 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 no. The one where the lady was like, she's like this kind of sassy spokesperson. She was like, oh, oh chicken is the best chicken. Yeah, oh, yeah. Girl, sweet tea. Oh, yeah. I'm at yeah. home, girl. And they did dial her back, and they dialed her back so much that she was like, when I watch Masterpiece Theater, yeah. uh, <laughs> I like to eat a nice piece of crispy chicken. Yeah. Yeah. A two-piece head of biscuits, yeah. servants, please. You know? And it was <laughs> That commercial with Mary J, in my opinion, was so good yeah. that had I been in it at the end, I would have jumped up and went, I want two pieces of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's too black. That's too black. Too black. Ain't hey, no such thing. That's right. I you can't, know, I can't, we, you we can't work on it. embracing ourselves. So know? we can't do it. And the yeah. things that we have. Uh, yes, for, the, for the record, the, the fast food company said that they pulled the ads not in response to the controversy and the uproar from critics. They really? said it had to do with um, legal issues. Um, 
with the with I think music publishing right. rights, the it, music rights. Clearance. That's what they're saying. I'm just, <laughs> just okay. telling you what to say. I just say it. I want to make a really quick point. I, a a stand-up comedian that I know who's a very very funny guy, and he did a bit about kids making he's Asian, and he made, did a, a joke about kids making fun of him and saying, oh, you're going to go home and eat rice. Oh, go home and eat your rice. And he's like, you know what? I am going to go home and eat my rice. Yeah. <laughs> How did you know? Rice is delicious. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. own your culture. Yeah. Don't be yeah. verify it. Embrace, Embrace yourself. yourself. Yeah. Embrace yourself. Yeah. And, now I'm, and now I'm hungry, too. We'll be right back. <laughs> For tickets to be in our studio.